Every day, with my old friend Abdullah, I would practice this art. At dinner, he would ask me to look at the lampshade. He didn't mean for me to see the lampshade, anyone can do that, but to focus my attention through it. Looking beyond, I would see living, breathing human faces. Other times, he would ask me to look at a car, a house, a wall, not with my outer eyes, but with my inner eye. And when I did, I would always see man. When I first began to do this, I had to break it, because I could feel myself moving through and beyond this world to see an entirely different world. That's imagination. From Neville's 1968 lecture, Follow the Pattern. It kind of reminds me of when people would look at a crystal ball. It's not that the crystal ball has power, but it was just a prop, a tool, for one to put the physical eyes on while the imagination went beyond. You often do so every day anyways, when you fall into a daydream and forget what you call reality. And of course you can close your eyes and look through the darkness. Use this exercise to play and let imagination flow, and then you can start to sculpt that imagination and see what you would see if your wish was fulfilled. Practice makes perfect. First time at a Japanese movie theater. I heard the popcorn is all the rage here. Yeah, city four. I came back here, baby. I told you I'd be back. Oh, wow, that is good. Please check out one of the first sponsors of this channel, Tokyo Treats and its sister company Sakuroko, a monthly Japanese snack subscription service that I personally enjoy myself. You can use the code NEVULUTION for $5 off your first order. The links will be in the description section beneath this video. Thank you.